Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to build the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad Coaches. Now, before we had the CVSR locomotive, now we have the rolling stock to go along with it, and this is part of Amtrak to EMD's commission, so thanks him for making this video possible. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look at what we have. So first off, we have this bike car. So you can put uh, bikes inside there, like the door inside's like uh, blacked out. And then next up, we have this car. This is the Silver Bronco Dome car. Like that, got a dome on the top. And then we have a passenger car. This is number 161, it's a Metro uh, Stephen W. Wait. I'll say that on the side. And then uh, the last car right here, this is going to be the cafe car. So I guess cafe car, uh, regular passenger coach, the dome car, and the bike car. So that's going to be all four of them. Here's what it looks like on the other side. They're all like different on the other side, except maybe this one. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's get started. So first off, we're going to make a base model for this. All right, to get started on the base car, we're going to take some materials, a uh, black concrete, Black stone, brick slab, wall, dark oak plank, and fence gate, a spruce fence gate, another brick block, and uh, that's it for right now. So first off, uh, each of these cars, they're 39 blocks long, excluding the gangways. So we'll start off with the gangway, that's going to be uh, this dark oak plank, two blocks above the tracks. And we'll add in a black stone brick slab to the side of it. And wall on top, three blocks tall, and then a slab of the inner part. Bottom here, we'll add in two blocks wide of black concrete. And we're going to make it three blocks long. Then we'll make it um, five blocks long of another brick block. So one, two, three, four, and five of that. Then we'll go down over here. And we'll add in the wheels, so that's going to be a uh, gray terracotta, another brick wall, slab, stairs, and also a hopper. So we'll add in the wheels first, the gray uh, terracotta, hopper sides, wall next to the wheel, and another brick slab in between, another brick stairs, inner part of these hoppers, another brick slab in between. Inside part, we'll make a row across and the other brick slabs. And then at the ends, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate, open that up right there in the middle. Then go right here, underneath here, we'll add in two more dark oak fence gates. Then we'll add in a dark oak trap door underneath. Then we'll add in another dark oak fence gate here, open it up towards the inside of the coach then we'll go on a diagonal and we'll add in a spruce fence gate right here right on the outer edge of the track then we'll take out um stone block polish it in a site and slab and black concrete so we'll add in three blocks tall stone then polish it in a site here slab and then slab at the top and then two black concretes behind it like that then we'll add in a uh, light gray carpet and light gray glass pane. So a pane right on top of this wall and carpet right above that dark oak. All right, so once we're done with that, we'll take out a uh, red concrete. We're gonna make a stripe across here. This go all the way across like that. Next, we'll take out polished black stone brick slab and we'll add in two blocks wide here. I'm going to make it 23 blocks long. So I'm going to extend that out. That 23 long. Then we'll add in five nether brick blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Three black concretes. One, two, three. And a gray, I mean a dark oak plank like that. And that's going to be the end. So now what we're, do to, <laughs> we're going to do, we're going to build this half right here and build it on the other side. All right, so once we have uh, both halves, it's gonna look like this. Then we'll take out a stone brick slab and we'll go diagonal to this stone block and then we'll make a line across. And this is gonna go all the way across to the other side. All right, 
right there. So that, this is basically it for our base car. I know it looks a lot like a skeleton, but it's just like the frame and then we'll change it up later. So we're gonna make uh, four copies of this to make uh, each of the cars. All right, so for the first car, we're gonna be building this bike car. And uh, to do that, we'll add in stone, make it two blocks wide here. And this is gonna go all the way across to the ends of the roof. So I just fill that in. We're gonna use world edit just to save us a lot of time. Then at the bottom here, we'll add in uh, upside down stone uh, stairs stone slab next to it. Go on the other side and it'll do the same thing. Then the slab is going to extend all the way across to the other side. So extend that all the way like that. All right. And then we'll add in, um, I guess, like two blocks more past this bogey of red concrete. So one, two. Other side, same thing. One, two. And then for the rest of this area, that's going to be stone for the wall. So it replaces air, stone like that. Other side, same thing. Like that. And then we're going to uh, delete these three blocks here. And we'll add in this smooth stone uh, slab. Three blocks cross. Then we'll add in a uh, Iron bar, it's gonna be a row of three here. Then black concrete on either side of it and we'll make a three by three behind this. That, we'll add in uh, iron trap doors at the top. Top row like that. And at this sort of middle row. And let me actually make sure. Okay, so that black concrete's actually gonna be built in like that on top as well two by three and then there are these pillars down here so um, if you can't get it to work because you don't have a world edit we can just use birch uh, trap doors instead just open these fence gates for the railing like that and then we'll add in um, stone block here red concrete on top and another stone then we're going to repeat the same thing so it's two blocks long then we'll add in uh, the inner wall of this, red concrete. And then yellow concrete, three blocks. And then two reds, two yellows, and then a red. Then we'll go on the outer edge of this, we'll add in two stone blocks, two red concretes, and then two stone blocks. The bottom row, we'll add another stone block here, both sides, and red concrete in the inner half of this. Then we'll add in uh, stone slabs all the way across the side of this. And stone slabs all the way across the top half. And then red concrete across for the middle stripe. Uh, like that. Then we're going to copy uh, this door that we just made here. So I'm going to copy all this using world in it. And we're going to build the same doorway on the other side so you go right over here we have like the three by three hole just build it again right there so it got both doorways like that then we're going to add in an oak fence gate right on the outer edges then we'll go down underneath in the middle here and we'll add in a nether brick fence and this nether brick fence is actually going to go all the way across the underbelly of this in the middle I'm going to set this all to nether brick fence. Like that. So once we have that, they should all be uh, connected. And then we'll add in a dark oak trap door underneath it. And this is good to go all the way across to the other side. And make sure you don't cut into that bogey right there. All right, so it should look like this all the way across like that. All right, so uh, after we're done with that, we'll add in these little um, things at the top. So we'll skip a block here, add stone brick slab. Go right over here, add it to the first part of this doorway. And then we'll add another one so it lines up this red concrete. And another one's going to be, I guess, two blocks away from that doorway like that on top. And then we're going to add a dark oak button right here, a light gray glass pane in the middle. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Glass pane, 
and dark oak button. All right, so next we'll go on to this end, and we're going to skip this block here, delete these two, and inside we'll add two blocks wide, yellow concrete. Then we'll add in acacia stairs back to back, right there. Add a dark oak uh, sign right there to the side, and that's going to be the Cuyahaga logo. And uh, yeah, that's it for uh, this side, so we'll copy what we did over here, and flip it the other direction and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves of this, we'll go onto this side, add in a spruce fence gate to the side of that, open that up. Go on the other corner for the other side, do the same thing over here. Then we'll add in an oak bun diagonal from that fence gate, like that. And then we'll go on the other side, do the same thing right there. All right, so next we'll line up with this red concrete, go down below and add in three blocks long black concrete with black stone brick slabs underneath. Then we'll skip a block here and add in three upside down, another brick stairs, and then we'll add in uh, three dark oak trap doors underneath, so it looks like this. Then we'll go on to the other side, line up that box on the other side, and then we'll add in great concrete here. Skip a block, add three, then add a black stone brick wall, skip a block, add another one. And then we'll add black stone brick slabs underneath these two boxes like that. All right, so once you're done with that, we'll go up over here. We'll move this yellow from this side to this side. So this could be three and that should be two. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to make the bike car, the first car of the lot. Now let's move on to the next car. Next car is gonna be the dome car. So we'll take out a stone brick block and we'll add two blocks wide here. And uh, we're gonna extend this stone brick so it reaches to the other side. I'm just gonna fill in all that in, like so. All right, so next we'll go on to the other side and we'll add in polished andesite block. Delete this red concrete, these two. Add polished andesite block, so it's four blocks tall here. Then add in two blocks tall here. Then polish and a site slab at the top of the bottom of this. And black concrete inside of it. Then we'll add in a stone brick stairs right over here. And polish and a site uh, block underneath like that. Then we'll move up to the other side. Add stone brick block, polish and a site block, and stone brick block at the top. And let's go back onto this side. So I guess we're going to extend uh, this bottom row of stone brick and the polished andesite all the way across to the other side. Let's see how far we can go with this. All right, so it should look like this. And then next we'll add in stone brick block across the top row over here, all the way across to the other side. Let's uh, set that like that. All right, now we're going to add in the windows. So we'll take out a black glass block. And we'll go over here, skip a block here, add one. Skip a block, and then we'll add in three. Delete this one here and add another three. And then add a red concrete. Then we'll take out acacia stairs and slabs. So we'll first add in a slab here. Then back to back, upside down stairs. And then back to back again, upside down stairs. And back to back, upside down stairs yet again. And then a slab. Then a red concrete. And then three black glass. Red concrete. Three black glass. Red concrete. Three black glass. Delete these three. So we got these three black glass like that. And then we'll add in iron bars on either side of this doorway. And we'll delete this block over here and we'll add in the logo. Just um, red wool with a birch bun to the side of that, like so. Then we'll go back over here and we will go underneath the stairs, delete that. Go on the other side, do the same thing, delete all this. And then we'll add in red concrete right here. Skip a block, add one. And then we'll add another one on the other side and yellow concrete for the rest of this. Like that, and I wonder if that 
might have been accidentally deleted. Then we'll add in stone brick slabs all the way across the bottom here. Actually, it goes all the way across the top. My bad, like that. Take out a stone stairs and block in slabs. So line up with this red concrete and we'll add in uh, the stone uh, block here, stone stairs on top. Go on the other side here, line up uh, one block before the red concrete. Do the same thing. Then we'll uh, delete all these outer uh, rows of stone brick slabs. And then we'll add in stone um, slab and then a stairs. Other side, we'll add in stone slab and then a stairs. And then it's going to be a stone slab here. Stairs, stone slab, stairs, stone slab. And the inner part of this will add in a black concrete. So it's all the way across this. And also we'll have to do the bottom row as well. Black concrete. So we got these nice blacked out windows. Then we'll add in um, black concrete right over here. The other one diagonally inside, other side, same thing. Then we'll add in uh, iron trap door and then um, diagonally outwards, a light gray glass pane, other side, same thing. And the rest of this inside is going to be black concrete. Then we'll add in a light gray carpet. We're going to make two here at the edge. Other side, same thing. And then we'll link up the middle together. And the carpet's going to line up with all these uh, pillars on the side. That, and add light gray glass panes for the pillars. So that they're all connected like that. It's uh, kind of like the same design they used in the Union Pacific one. And then on the inside of these uh, windows, we're also going to fill that in with uh, black concrete. Uh, all the way across for them. So that it should look like this. All right, so next we'll take out a cobblestone slab. We'll add one over here at the top of the roof. Go on the other side, we'll add one other one at the very edge. Then we'll add in a light gray glass paint in the middle here and a dark oak bun. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Glass paint in the middle and a dark oak bun right there. Then inside this, we'll add in an oak bun and then a spruce fence gate underneath and open that up like so. All right, so once we're done with that, that's it for this side. So to copy what I did over here, flip it the other direction and build the other half. So, all right, so after we're done with that, we'll go on the inner part of this and we'll change this, um, these slabs over here on the underside. And we're gonna change that into a black concrete so it's more solid, it goes a bit more down like that. And that is it for uh, this side. So we're gonna build the other half, just flip it the other direction. All right, so once we have uh, both sides, should look like this. Then we'll take out a bedrock, and I'm going to add a vent on this side, so I'll line up with this window here. And we'll add in these four bedrock blocks like this. Then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slabs. Add a three here. And then skip a block, add in two. Skip a block, add one, and then two dark oak fence gates like that. And then next we'll go on the back of this and we're going to make this uh, three blocks deep. I mean, so this is like one, two, and three like that. Let's extend the rest up like that. Then we'll go back onto this side and we'll add in these two blackstone brick slabs like that. Another blackstone brick slab in the middle. And this is going to extend all the way across to that box that we made earlier, which was right there. Then we're going to skip these two slabs, add in three blackstone slabs, skip block three more like that. Very good. Then we're going to take out blackstone button and we're going to add that underneath this window here. Another one underneath this red pillar. And then another one underneath this window in the middle. Like that. So I think that's about it for that side. So we'll work on the other side. The other side's a bit different. So it's going to be blackstone button underneath this window middle and then underneath this uh, red concrete and another one 
right underneath this window. So the windows on this side are different, so we're going to fill this in, write concrete here. And this other side, we'll add in right concrete here. And then three, three, and that looks to be good so far. Then next we'll go on the bottom here, skip two, add in black stone brick slab. And then go over to this side, go right before this window, add in black stone brick slab, and then we'll connect it up to the other side. Go right over here, skip two blocks, add in two slabs, and skip two blocks, add in two slabs. And then we'll skip a block, add in two slabs, and then we'll add dark oak fence gates, side the slabs, open them up. Another one over here, open them up, and then fence gates all the way across these slabs over here. We have to go all the way to that bogey like that. Alright, so once we're done with that, we'll go on the other side, and we'll add a cobblestone slab right here. And that should be it on how to make the dumb car. Now we're gonna move on to the next car. This is gonna be the standard coach, or it says Metro on the side. So first off, we'll need a stone brick block on the roof. So we'll add in two blocks wide right here at the top. And then we're gonna extend this stone brick so it reaches all the way across to the other side of the roof. Like that. Then we'll add in a polish and a site and slab. So add in, well, actually delete these two red concretes. And then add in four blocks tall, polish and a site. Polish and a site right here at the bottom. And then skip a block, polish and a site slab top to bottom with black concrete inside. Then we'll delete this block here. And we'll add in a red uh, wool block with a birch button. This side of that, and then we'll add in a polished andesite block underneath. Then we'll take out an iron bar, so add on either side of this with an andesite wall in between. Then we'll add in a polished andesite stairs right at this corner here. Then we'll go on the other side. So on this side, we'll add in polished andesite block and a stairs underneath. Then polish in a site block again here, and then polish in a site slab. And uh, the slab uh, is going to go all the way across to the other side, so I'm going to just use a world it for this. We're going to try to wrap that all the way to the other side. See how far we can go with this. It touches the other side like that. Then we're going to go here, and we'll skip these two reds. Delete these two, and we'll add in a black glass block inside, two blocks wide. Skip block, add two, and then two reds, then two glass, one red, two glass, two reds, two glass, one red, two glass, two reds, two glass, one red, two glass, and then one red here, actually two reds, and then two glass, Skip one, two glass. And if you can't tell by the pattern, it's basically I made like pairs of these together. So there's like, these are just like one pair and then we have another pair and they're divided by these two uh, blocks. In uh, real life, they're more equidistant, but you know, it's Minecraft. Uh, this is the best I could do for right now. Then the inside of these windows, I'm gonna fill that in with black concrete so that they are gonna be blacked out. And then for the top row, we'll add in a polished andesite slabs all the way across the roof. Should look like this. Then we'll add in a oak bun and a spruce fence gate right here to the side. Open that fence gate up. And a dark oak bun right here, dangling up on the other side. And we'll add in the dark oak bun up there as well. And then after we're done with that, we'll add in a cobblestone uh, slab right over here. Let's skip block, add one like that. And then go on the other side, skip two, and then add one right there. Then we'll go um, towards this middle area. So we'll make this like lettering here on the side. So to do that, we'll go to the third pair from this side. So one, two, third pair. 
underneath this window, delete this and the block before it. And delete it until it goes underneath halfway underneath the other window. So we'll add red concrete. Every other block so that we have three and then yellow concretes in between. And then polish and site slabs all the way across for the rest of that. Alright, then we'll add in a dark oak button right above this birch button. That's going to say Metro in real life. Alright, then we'll go um, past this logo here, delete this slab here, replace it with a stairs. And a dark oak button right there to the side of it. So that's all that we're going to do for uh, this side. So copy what you did over here and flip it and build the other half. All right, so once we have the other half, looks like this. Then we'll move this cobblestone slab block forward like that. And on this side, there's going to be like a little window. So that's going to be delete this red concrete at black concrete inside, acacia slab at the top. And then we'll have to um, fill this window in with red concrete like so. All right, next we'll move down underneath here. Go in the middle, skip a block away from the bogey, and then add in eight gray concretes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Add in black stone brick slabs underneath all the way across. Like so, and then we'll skip one here. Add in black stone um, brick block. Skip block and add another one. Then we'll add in two black stone walls with black stone brick slabs underneath and then we're going to go to the other side and we'll line up with this window and add in these three gray concretes and black stone brick slabs underneath like that and change this into a solid black stone brick block this one as well and then this inner one as well and then we'll change this into a gray concrete then we'll add in uh, blackstone brick stairs here. Skip a block, add another stairs. And then two slabs underneath for the little box. Like that. And then we're going to move up to the other side. And then once we're on this side, we're going to go to this box and we'll add in these two gray concretes and then two blackstone brick slabs underneath. Then we're going to skip three away from the box, and then we'll add in three smooth stone blocks. That go on the other end here. In front of this block stone brick block, we'll add in these two smooth stone blocks like that. And then we'll go uh, right over here. Line up with this box, we'll add in a gray concrete and black stone brick slab underneath. Alright, so once we've done that, that's pretty much it on how to make the coach. Now we're going to move up to the last car, which is going to be the dining car for CVSR. So to do that, we'll take out stone brick block, go across the roof section here. And uh, we're going to make this whole roof into stone brick blocks. So let's do that, stone bricks. That. And then we'll add in um, right over here underneath. It's going to be polish and a site uh, block all the way across. All the way across over here. It's the top section. And then this bottom section will add in stone brick block. It's going to go all the way across the bottom area. Stone bricks. And then at the edge here, we'll add in polish and site stairs upside down facing towards the middle carriage. Other side, same thing. And then we'll add in polish uh, andesite slabs across the rest of this. So it should look like this. Then we'll go on the edge here. We'll add in a dark oak bun. Down, like down here, oak bun, and then an iron bar. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Dark oak bun, oak bun, and iron bar like that. Then we'll go on the bottom, right here in the middle, and we'll add in another brick fence here. And then two gray concretes, and then a blackstone brick wall like that. Then we'll go on the other side, and we'll skip a block, add in another brick fence, and then two gray concretes. Like that. 
All right, so next we'll add in cobblestone slab here. Get block add one. Go on the other end and add one right there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this side. So it would copy what you did over here and flip it and build the other half. All right, so once we have the other half, looks like this. So now I'm gonna work on this half first. So we take out this pink terracotta and it's gonna be a block after this cobblestone slab. So add one here. Delete these three, then add in uh, two more of these uh, pink terracottas inside, then add one, actually add two here, add two birch buns here, a uh, blackstone bun here, and then two smooth quartz blocks, or stairs I mean, making an L shape. Then we'll add in three red concretes, skip a block, add one, skip two blocks, add two, skip uh, three blocks, add in three, skip one, add one, skip two, add one, skip two, add one, and then delete these two, and then skip block, delete these two. Then we'll add in a black glass, and they're going to be inside all of these windows here, all the way across, like that. And then we're going to go to the other side. So skip one here, actually skip these two and add in black glass. And then skip two and then we'll add in these two acacia slabs here. Then we're gonna add another two red concretes here. Skip a block, add one. Skip two blocks, add one. Skip three blocks. Add in a pink terracotta. Two blocks long like that. Two birch buns. The pink terracotta is inside here, so two blocks long like that. Smooth court stairs facing that direction. Pink terracotta and a black stone button. Then we'll skip two blocks, add in red concrete. Skip three, add another one. Make a room for three here. Skip this one and then skip add in two here. Then we'll add in black glass block in for all of these holes. All the windows are going to be covered up like that. All right. And then after that, we're going to fill in the inside of this with black concrete. So it's all filled in like so. All right, next we'll go on this side. Go right to this three block wide window. Delete this. And add in polish and insight inside. Stone brick slab in the middle and stairs and sides of that upside down. Skip a block, add another polish and a site block right there. Then we'll go to the other half. And then go underneath this window, move this in and add in polish and a site. Stone brick slab inside and stairs on either side of that. Like so. Alright, so I just realized I offset this by one. So if this does bother you, it's like a little tiny error that I made. Uh, so basically this whole section over here is offset by one block so I'm going to have to move this I want to be accurate so this block right over here that should be two blocks wide but it's only one block wide so I'm going to move everything to the left uh, like that and then we'll change this back so it's two blocks wide sorry about that it's a really really long tutorial man I've been recording this forever and I'm so hungry but we've got to power through this. This is the last car. All right, so once we have done that, let's move down underneath. We'll add in a bedrock block. To line up this pink terracotta. Two bedrocks here. And then white concrete. Going to be three blocks. And then we'll add in smooth stone slabs. Four blocks. And then a stone, or actually an iron trap door right there. Then we'll go here, skip block, add two gray concretes. Skip a block and then add two facing each other, black stone brick uh, stairs. And then two blocks wide, black stone brick slabs underneath these two areas. And then we'll go on the other side. Skip two away from the bedrock, add in black stone wall dark oak fence gate and then two black concretes and black stone brick stairs like that 
Then we'll skip a block and add black stone brick wall like that. Then we'll move up to the other side. So on this side, we'll go underneath the single window, add in great uh, concrete right there, black stone brick slab underneath. Then go underneath this single window here and do the same thing. And now what we're going to do, we're actually going to connect these two uh, boxes together. I'm going to extend that across like that. And then we're going to go on the roof over here and we'll move this cobblestone slab of block to the left. Fill that in with stone brick slab. And that should be pretty much it on how to build all of the cars for the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. We finally have done this. He actually commissioned this Amtrak to AMD like last year. So I am finally finished with this build. Yay. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, hit the like button down below. It took a really long time to actually find out and figure out how to do exactly every single car because there's not like a ton of reference uh, photos out there. I had to watch a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, to get all the sides correctly. But anyways guys, I'm gonna go eat something and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.